Hey everyone, I hope you're staying safe. I hope you're good before we get into today's video, which is watercolor chatting. What's better than that, right? To escape a little bit from reality. I want to remind you that I have a giveaway that is still open for a couple more days after this video goes live. I will link you to it. I also have a new class. I would love to see you there. I started filming this video and a little bit of the footage got corrupted, so I'm not sure what I was saying, but I would really appreciate it if you subscribed, if you hit the like button and the notification bell, and please leave me a comment because I really enjoy reading them and it's a big part of <laughs> my social interaction <laughs> these days, so I really hope <laughs> Lily is here with... Um, a cute skirt and cat ears if you haven't seen her she's also in the giveaway video so uh, she's very cute there you can see that anyway let's get to today's video and I'm going to share with you some of my favorite color mixes let's get into it I love recommending things but I also really enjoy reading your recommendations and I get really good recommendations. Obviously I don't know everything out there so I really really appreciate um, all the information that you share with me. I thought today I would talk a little bit about color mixing. I feel like there are some classical color mixes that we uh, hear about all the time and people talk about them all the time. And I'm talking about things like ultramarine blue with burnt sienna or Indian red, phthalo blue, like those kind of combos that are so often seen in um, landscapes and skies and those sort of things. And not a lot, not a lot of times do I see kind of my kind of color mixing and I really enjoy, I, I do some color mixing in my palette, I do some of it on paper, it kind of just changes on my mood and the painting and whatever I feel like. So yes, of course, I mix my own oranges from yellow and pink and my own greens or whatever, but what I really, really enjoy is mixing complementary colors. I love painting with complementary colors and my favorite um, combo which will probably not surprise you is um, yeah yellow and violet so here I was just uh, sketching some sketches and there's a lot in this sketchbook for my new class and I was also for preparing for the class I was also really playing a lot with um, this color combo of yellow and purple, yellow and violet. It's it's just such a favorite uh, color combo for me and this is one of the uh, demos that I paint in the class. If you haven't checked it already, I would love to see you there. But yeah, so these are the ones that I really, really love mixing. So I just wanted to share with you some of my favorite color mixes. Some as preparation for this video, I was just like playing around and made some really happy discoveries. I want to encourage you to play and try things that maybe, um, I don't know, maybe are just not so common or popular out there. So my favorite combo is Naples yellow with basically Naples yellow and I love the Schmincke one. I've talked about it a gazillion times. It's just really, really um, light and buttery. It is opaque, but I find that if used with a light hand, it doesn't uh, create a muddy color. And I read this book that I really enjoyed. Now I can't remember the name of it, but the the uh, teacher was saying that mud is not necessarily the color of mud it's not uh, brown or gray it's that effect that you get if on paper that you used like too much paint and you you lose the transparency and the vibrancy and you just get this like really flat dead color and I've been there many times. <laughs> so this is a color that I kind of have to be careful when I use it, uh, not to use too much of it, but use lightly 
I think it's gorgeous. It just makes the most beautiful washes. And I was playing around. I decided just like, okay, I'm just gonna paint. I can't be bothered with all the time searching for, you know, the perfect subject, the perfect reference photo. I don't know. So I just decided to play. And this painting, I started with a wash of Naples yellow and cobalt violet and my favorite cobalt violet, which I'm also sick of my hearing myself <laughs> say it It's the Windsor and Newton cobalt violet and you can see it here. It's quite a central uh, Color it's just my idea of like a perfect tone perfect formula. It's beautiful so the background was just a wash of Naples yellow and some cobalt violet um and then I added more layers, but it gives the paper this glow. And especially if you use uh, rough paper, which is what I like to use. So you can see how the violet, I hope you can see here, like you get that violet granulation and a little bit of the warmth of the Naples yellow. So here it's a bit more yellow than here. And it's just, to me, the combinations are magic <laughs> so this is my favorite this is what i use all the time uh with the um, windsor newton cobalt violet but pretty much any cobalt violet that i add to it i love so this is the m gram version and you can see that it's a lot more blue than the windsor newton and it's still let's zoom you in because you should really the beauty of these mixes is how they it's just like the paint with the paper and the water it's just beautiful i mean this is watercolor magic you can't get this with any other medium so you can see with the more bluish violet it creates this very very muted but still kind of warm um color i guess it's a violet here it's a lot warmer it's almost like a peachy color um, here it's with the Holbein Cobalt Violet Light and also really interesting. It's just, just lovely. I think here I used more water so it's, it's more dispersed. Here it's a bit heavier, the Naples Yellow. I think this one was with a hue. Um, I mixed it with some hue of Cobalt Violet. I think this was the Jackson's which is a lovely color but um, you can see that you don't get the same effect. I mean, this color is also lovely, but it just doesn't have the depth and that glow, in my opinion, that you get when you use like the real cobalts. And, but you don't just need, you don't have to have like a cobalt. I just think with granulating colors, it's just gorgeous. And here is a mixture of the same Schmincke cobalt, uh, Naples yellow, sorry with the Rembrandt lavender used with a lot of water and I just love this. I mean, especially like, I think this would be so beautiful for sky. I'll, I'll try to get the lighting so you can see. It is just this lovely gray. I don't know. It's, you could say it's like a muddy color, but to me, this is as like the most beautiful mud. Uh, I think it's it's just lovely. So that is my kind of go-to <laughs> mixture. And basically, I, I just have to say that anything that I mix with cobalt violet is makes me super happy. So I'll show you a few more. This is uh, quinacridone gold with the Schmincke cobalt violet hue. Now this is a hue. <sighs> But it, to me, it really looks like real cobalt. I don't know how they did this. I don't remember. It is series three, so it's not the cheapest um, pigment. I don't even know if it goes higher than three. I don't know. Maybe three is there. Oh, there's four. Okay, the cobalts are four. So I don't know what they used here. I don't have that information here. Anyway, it's a really beautiful hue that performs in my opinion, like the real thing. And you can see how these mix. And it's a really good idea. Someone also wrote it. Um, it's just nice sometimes to see something written and then you can get that 
order in your head that mixing the quinacridone colors which are always transparent and non-granulating with one of like the more heavier pigments like cobalts or um, you know the earth tones you really get lovely mixes and I think this is a good example. This, here's quinacridone gold with my precious cobalt violet. <laughs> Very pretty. I love this combination when I'm doing like florals. I think it's beautiful. I always like to add a touch of yellow for some uh, warmth. It will usually be Nicolaiso yellow because I just prefer it to quinacridone gold these days. But this is also a really beautiful combination. And this one I tried now and I really love it. So this is Goatite, I think it's called. This is from the Daniel Smith Ultimate Mixing Set. I only have the half pan and I think I might pick up a two because this is like an earth tone I can live with. And I think for me, I think I prefer this particular tone to the yellow ochres that I've tried or even like raw sienna. Um, I think I really, really like this. It has this softness to it, but it's still a warm color. It's not dead. It has granulation and it creates a beautiful mix with my precious. <laughs> so <laughs> now I wanted to show you something else that I really, really liked. So Moon Glow. Uh, I'm sure a lot of you know Moon Glow. It's one of the Daniel Smith um, more, more popular and interesting color mixes. I think it has three pigments. One of them, if I'm not mistaken, is ultramarine blue, and it gives it that wonderful granulation. Is it ultramarine blue? Because the granulation looks more turquoise than blue, but it's a beautiful color. And here it's together with burnt sienna. I'm trying, I added burnt sienna to my palette because I have a little tube and I'm trying to use it and I like it. I'm not in love, but I like it. So interesting mix. It's just fun to see something like Moon Glow with other colors because it's just such an interesting color on its own. So when you pair it with other stuff, it it makes all kinds of fun things. This is, again, kind of magic because it's probably because it's, again, kind of yellow and uh, purple or violet. So this is Moon Glow with Nickel Azo Yellow and I just love this. So you can see how the Nickel Azo Yellow really pushes its way into the purple but you still have the granulation of moon glow. Isn't this beautiful? I think it's so pretty. This, I really, really loved this combo. So this is moon glow and lunar earth. And I think this is beautiful and I really want to play more with this color combo. It just makes, uh, I mean, you have the granulation and you have kind of the mixes of this. I don't even know how to describe this color. It's, I guess, like a, a grayish brown. It's perfect. I love this. This is such a good combo. So definitely uh, I'm making a mental note to use this more. Uh, I really enjoy mixing really, really, really bright, vibrant colors with uh, kind of more earthy tones, even though this green is not super earthy. But you just get, and these are, you know, pink and green. They're almost opposite each other in the color wheel. Um, you just get really interesting combos. I don't know how I feel about this. Like if I see myself wanting to really paint with it, but I can't deny that it's an interesting color combo. So this is Holbein Bright Rose, and this is the Daniel Smith Green Appetite. Genuine. Now another uh, color combo that I really love, and it's well it's cadmium red light this is the one that i have and i think i will soon well once i'm done with it uh, i'll need a replacement i don't know if i'll stick with a holbein one this is the only red that i usually have in my palettes and just because i don't really like any other reds but this one i really really enjoy and it is really really orangey so here is a, well, I have a few good examples of it. So here you can get an idea of it. And I mix it here with the Schmincke Indigo, which is my favorite indigo color. Uh, it's just really alive. It doesn't have any black in it. It's made from two blue pigments. And I think Schmincke 
really nailed the formula for that one and you can see like how interesting this is and I just think this would be a really fun uh, combo for like a dark night sky and then the you know pop of this red it's I think uh, Alvaro Castanet uses a lot of like this kind of red in his paintings for like faces and lights and really brings out uh, his focal points and you can use it it's like it can be applied with more opacity or watered down it's it still has that beautiful glow and granulation it's just a lovely color here it's mixed with cobalt turquoise this is another one of my favorite mixes to kind of um, get uh, interesting gray because it just makes this beautiful I don't know like really rich warm interesting gray I love this combo and now another example of a hue so this is a kind of a cheaper um, Van Gogh paint that it looks in the pan it looks like this on its own it's really nice but I really I love Van Gogh colors but I really like their single pigments one and not their hues like you know the colors that try to imitate uh, the more expensive pigments like cobalts and cadmiums and that sort of thing and this is a good example I think it kind of shows that point um, really nicely first of all in the camera it looks a lot deader than it does in real life in real life it's a it's a really luminous color but you can see that when mixed it just doesn't have that um, depth and dimension that you get with the real thing. So that's where I feel like these uh, cheaper um, versions fall short. And here's another uh, nice combo of this color with Indanthron blue, another lovely kind of inky blue. And yeah, just really interesting. And here's something I also tried for the video. And I thought the result was really interesting. So this one is Rose of Ultramarine, which I really, really like this color. And here we have Emerald from Sennelier, which is a really unique color that I haven't seen from any other brand. It looks like this, but it's a transparent color. And... It's just beautiful here it's you can't really really see the pure version of it maybe a little bit here it's just this minty green kind of similar to how it looks here where it's not dirty but together with Rose of Ultramarine it just makes a really really interesting gray just really interesting color so I really encourage you to play around with your color mixes. Uh, this was a really happy, happy discovery for me. And also Moon Glow and Lunar Earth. And then also the Goatite and my Cobalt Violet. Um, this is just beautiful. I really like the softness of it. I feel like sometimes like something like Quinacridone Gold is a bit too harsh and intense when you mix it with uh, like these more delicate colors and I feel like this is a good combo much like my beloved Naples yellow so I hope you enjoyed this video let me know in the comments which are your favorite um, kind of maybe less popular or less common or your secret mixture that uh, you absolutely love and you use all the time and you haven't seen other people use. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you're taking care of yourselves, staying safe, and I'll see you in another video soon. Bye!